Pennsylvania at Meltdown Comics in the Meltdown Theater. Harmontown is now in session. Please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you very much. I was I was Minecrafting. I I, I and I I didn't. I'm not really uh, ready to do the show. W- I, what happened recently on Minecraft? T- uh, get us up to date on where you were as, as you left Minecraft. I have a new base that I built uh, up in the sky. It's a cube of marble, and uh, and inside of it is a glass room with these powered spawners that creates uh, zombies, that brings zombies into the world, and then there's these machines on all sides that m- immediately murder them, and the, <laughs> all of their brains and flesh go through conduits into a central chest underneath that chamber, and then I just finished making an elaborate system that, like a serial killer's uh, like <laughs> elaborate like turn-of-the-century World Fair murder castle... <laughs> Uh, like sorts their armor off and uh, and melts it down into gold and uh, you know anything that they were carrying like I it's just sort it all out and then I you take their flesh and it and it and their flesh gets teleported into a tesseract that funnels down into these vats and the, and is combined with sugar from these fields of cane Wait, that I what? have growing on the roof of my cube so the so the cube is a cube of marble with with like sugar cane growing on the roof. And it's just being constantly harvested, and that gets turned into sugar. And the sugar is combined with the zombie flesh and forms a nutrient juice that powers my whole operation. I have these these generators that. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. You should applaud. Thank you. Uh, uh, welcome to Nuremberg, 1939. <laughs> <laughs> Harvesting flesh to no, power it, it your... Is, it does make you feel a little... I mean, they're zombies, but but they're, they were created by me. Like, I did summon them into the world with my machine, only to harvest their flesh and brains and stuff, yeah. Is this part of a menu that happens when you first get the game? Or is that... <laughs> No, no, it's part. It's a lot of mod packs. I'm playing. I, I've told you. I'm playing the. I told you, Jeff. <laughs> I'm playing. Dan, the, we don't talk the, as much the, as we Feed used the to. Beast Infinity mod pack. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, if you if you're interested in. So you, you summon zombies only to murder them and harvest their parts to fuel your war engine. Yes. <laughs> There's zombie generators. They each generate 80 uh, 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 red, redstone flux um, points of energy per tick. A tick is a, is a tenth of a second, I think. Right. And then uh, so each zombie generator generates 80, and I have, like, just a wall of them, and they all take in this – they all run on this nutrient, nutrient distillation, and then they funnel the energy into a big, giant capacitor, and then that, that, that charges everything, like my jetpack and stuff like that. Your jetpack – Oh yeah, gotta so, have a gotta have a jetpack. Wait, so is, is it a fir- is there a first person or third person element to this where you're flying around? Uh, it's a first person uh, experience. So you're you're on a jetpack flying around through your sky cloud zombie uh, killing. Yep, yeah. Al- alone. Yeah. Alone. <laughs> is, is is there any companionship? Is there is there anybody no. out there? Are you just you just just you out there just with the, the zombies? zombies. <laughs> just, the, <laughs> just the comforting screams of their. I usually put it on mute because it's a little disturbing. <laughs> I keep my keep my bedroom far away from where you can hear their their cries of anguish and confusion. Oh, I'm sure they're very confused. They're like mm, brains. Wait, my brains. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty great. What I'm doing. What what, what is the, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying this to be glib or, or smartassy. Like, what is the payoff? Like, what's the, what's the serotonin? There's no, there's no. I mean, or you mean like? Well, it's never going to end. If that's what you, I thought you were asking no, no, that. I, like, I, my I wife mean, is always asking. What, what, it's never going to end. <laughs> She's like, oh, did you win yet? No, I did not win yet. No, I I I, I mean, what what is the what is the uh, what's the visceral experience of that? Like like the. Just getting fatter and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it's 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 a world where every decision you make can can result if you choose it to 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 uh, in perfect order. It's perfect organization. It's like you t- listen to that. I took zombies and I turned them into electricity, and I, I and their 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 pants get turned into gold. Like I, I just everything is you know there's a place for everything, and you just sort things and build them, and you can you can create anything. It's like. You know, it's like digital Legos, and it's a. That's I need that in my life because uh, you know I don't I don't you know nobody has that in real life. That's the you're, because the, the rest of life is too disordered, is too too yeah, chaotic. And there's no result. You know, if you could you could go out in the street and the lady could go help help um, my my wallet and and like there's a guy like stealing her wallet and you're like hey, he's kind of smaller than me. I think I'll I'm gonna do the right thing here and then uh, you go up and go. Hey, g- get your damn hands off her! And the guy just stabs you, and the and the woman's like, "Ha ha! We tricked you. We're like a we're like a, a pair of people that do this and take his blood, take his blood. So let's get out of here." I, and you turn like, his pants into gold. <laughs> you know that's yeah. In real life, you could you could be the zombie that's generated by a uh, auto spawner. Our friend Annie from South by Southwest is here tonight. You think you think she she you know you think in her Minecraft game she would say give me spinal stenosis like she she, is she are you here Annie? Yeah. Okay, there you are. Yeah. Hello, Annie. People didn't like my offhanded glib use of you as an analogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Uh, Annie, Annie's here. She can she can confirm now. I'm, I was glad to hear you were going to be here. Do, 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 did you just schedule a LA trip by coincidence, or did you? I, I live here. Oh, you live here. Yeah. What were you doing in South by Southwest? I, I, was, I was there to, to go to comedy stuff. And I was just coming. Oh. Okay. <laughs> can, do you want to come up here? Is it is it is it easy enough? Um, yeah. can, we, well, can we move that table so that she can? She needs her walking. Well, Oh, really? Okay, you can do it. Let's welcome Annie over to wherever she's... Hello, Annie. Resplendent in pink uh, sweater and pink bow. Thank you. Okay, so we met you at South by Southwest... Uh, which was very loud, and I didn't listen to the broadcast. I don't know if it was like it was super loud, too loud like... for the listeners or anything. Oh man, I couldn't tell because last time we were there, it was the same thing. But then I listened to it, and I was like, "Well, it's not so bad. Good thing we didn't spend the whole podcast like going, hey, what's with these people talking?'" Because because I, when I listened to it, I was like, "Ah, eh, you can't really, you know, you can hear like a background sound effect of uh, it's like we're doing a show to Fuddruckers or something." And uh, <laughs> the but 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 th- th- this time it was just unavoidable. Like everyone that came up had to address it. We w- went over to the bar a thousand times and said, "Keep it down." Didn't we send you over there at some point? Oh, and, my friend Jessica went, wow. and she was like, and we were like cheering her on. And Aaron went over. Aaron was the best because she would go over and be like, "Hi, what's your name? What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> yeah. Like it was perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they gotta they gotta figure. Uh, we're, we 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 gotta ask more questions before we go back to South by. <laughs> yeah, I thought this time the place would be sealed up because of Yahoo. Let, and let's stuff, ask you know? for like, uh, a theater next time. I, well, like, the open bar was the problem because everybody was standing around the bar and everybody wanted drinks. And then you'd stand there and talk to people at the bar because obviously you right. can't really hear what's going on at the show. But also those people at the bar, they were not at the Harmon Town. No, a lot of them were just you know. Yeah, they were just hanging out, yeah. like like talking about like the, like e wallets and stuff. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> so we, we we met you there, and I don't know how much they could hear, but we asked you about your your walker, and then found out you have this tragic uh, uh, spinal stenosis. You you were walking down the hall one day and down just fell down, and found out you're not going to be able to walk ever again. It's going to get kind of kind of worse as it goes. Um, and uh, and then and then it came up that you're and you're a big Annie Edison fan, and that your name is Annie Randomly. with one N, yes. and that you're you have a blog where you talk about what Annie wears, and that you were bummed out about the uh, move from skirts to pants, which I, <laughs> I a move I made to be a decent human being. <laughs> Uh, I, I understood your your logic behind all of it. You were just wrong. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, um, so it's fine. <laughs> what, what was your guilt about that, Danny? You, you felt like you, you were being exploitative. <laughs> yeah, of, uh, of yeah. I, I well, I'm looking at you know what, uh, uh, that character uh, outfits differently. I like I'm not going like oh that old innocent schoolgirl thing. I'm a pig. Like I and also like the act, the character is. 
is growing and changing. So I thought, like, well, is she, is she just, like, in this stasis, you know? Does she just have, like, 11,000, you know, short skirts and pairs of tights and, and, and cardigan sweaters, like, in you this closet? You should literally like the see fonts. my closet. It's, like, half cardigans, half dresses. Right. It's like, so we put you okay. in charge of wardrobe for, for the finale episode. There's a, there's a couple of scenes where she'll, she'll be – she's dressed in accordance with your, your wishes. You, you yes. got – <laughs> You got you. We actually connected you with our wardrobe supervisor. It's true. And She's, <laughs> still has not responded to me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm at, not like mad. All? I'm not like trying to be like, hey, this is really. I'm very upset at all of this. But no, I asked like a bunch of questions, and I think it was like a little too much. Like I was like literally three tweets with the questions, like this and this and this and that. Right. You know, like it's like I think it, I think it was overwhelming. Yeah, so. and also you're associated with me, so the the the, 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 the people that, that work underneath me are not big fans of. Uh, <laughs> Of they, 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 I, last night was the rap party for season six, and it's always a tradition where I, I come up with a new way to promise that I'll figure out how to run a show. And, uh, and uh, all the new people are like, yeah, good speech, man. <laughs> and all the, like, you know, the Rhonda, the prop master for six years, is over in the corner. Like, if, if she smoked, she'd just have a cigarette dangling. Like, like yeah, it's always going to be different. <laughs> He's really learning. Wait, so you, you already shot the uh, the Annie last episode then? Yep, yep. So, we, somebody yeah, we shot tweeted it. me a picture actually of it. Um, I don't know how they they managed to find this, but I guess there, there was like somebody released a picture of like everybody on set, mm. and then somebody tweeted it to me and was like, "Hey, this is your outfit." So. Did it? Did it? Did it? Was it all right? Did we? Did we get it? Yeah. No. I mean, well, it's not really a purple sweater. I would definitely not call that purple. But. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, literally I, what happened I wish I could th I wish this was a more glorious story but literally what happened was they sent me pictures of two outfits literally in the combinations that they were in on the show so they and they had so all the items had previously been worn and it was only two outfits right. so what I said was can we swap that sweater uh. for this dress because I, at least then it's a new combination of things she's already worn all right. so that's, well you were that was my amazing costume designing you were as uh, uh, yeah Thank you. Welcome to Hollywood, Annie. It's great to be here, Jeff. <laughs> I did have a I did have a little bit of a shithead uh, fit, shithead shit fit tantrum. Uh, I remember on the way to a meeting because I was like looking at these emails and I was going like, wait, what? There was a picture of a black sweater and I, and I was like, the only thing I remember is a purple sweater. That's all. I, that's all I know. I could have. I could have. Like, how is that the one thing that's like different? Mm. And then they said that you were like in contact with them. So after a point, I was like, okay, yeah, as long as I look like a good person. Yeah, Spencer. <laughs> That That's, was my goal here. This is the real, yeah. No, Spencer got in contact with me actually, and then hooked, and then and I also talked to Kevin and somebody else, and things worked out. All right. What so. are you? What's what's what are you holding? There? Oh, I'm holding a fan because I'm afraid oh, yeah. at any moment I'm going to uh, heat up and exhaust <laughs> and be like needing this. It's a little warm in here. You know why? Very popular podcast. <laughs> it's like the zombie generator. So yeah, like, like you could you could you could power a marble base with this this, this room. All this, all these brains and flesh. What, what, is it, what does a, mar a marble base afford you? Like, what, what is I don't that know. Good? It just looks pretty. It's white. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything down down on the earth. What is, is your like home, what is your home base? Are, are, you, are you building a, like a villa, like a, like a, like a like a home like a like fortress of solitude? What do you it's have good, there? It's good. It's like a big computer kind of. It takes in ore. Takes in everything, you know. Like, is there, I, is there an architectural aesthetic to it, or is it like what's a white cube <laughs> with like multiple? So it's levels. not about it's not about aesthetics. It's about function. It's about the aesthetic of function. It's like when you look at it, you're like, this guy's functioning, <laughs> like, and he doesn't give a shit right. looks at it about anything except power. But like uh, a a ancient Rome functioned, uh, but they still had like they, they would. They would I may chisel that. a couple of columns when I'm finished with everything being working. Yeah, I may I could take a chisel and I can make some. Some things you can, yeah. C can you make it look artistic? Can you? Yeah. You can. Yeah, you like it now. <laughs> I have no idea what we're talking about, mm. but I, I do like the idea that one day you would graduate from function, like you, when you got everything you wanted, when you achieved the heights of whatever you wanted, that you would like start becoming like an artistic. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. I would, I, I, I would, I would save that for last. Yeah. I, I would be like, okay, now I care if there's a pot in the uh, corner with a plant in it. But up until the moment when you're a god, I, why I'm would talking you care? about like if, if I if I were a third person Minecrafter walking up, like I, I ran afoul of your kingdom and, and I saw out in the distance a, a giant building, right, which is where you dwell, right. I would just see a big cube. You would see first of all, you would go, oh my god, what happened? Like because there, the 
there's just these giant rectangular holes in the earth where I just I built an ender quarry and I just put it on a you know a, a diamond upgrade and, and it just goes and I just like scoop up the earth down to bedrock so there's just lava See, and, that, that, uh, that, that, so far so far that's ancient Rome like that, if, yeah. as, a, as you get to Rome there's just quarries and mines and and, and chain gangs and think bad things happening. Yeah, it's just like you'd be like, "Oh my god, what horrible monster did but, all this?" And then you'd look up on the sky and he's go, "Is that the sun?" Uh, no, it's my home. Are you live in the sky? <laughs> yes, I live in the sky. You live in a, cu- a, a a marble cube in the sky. Yes, I do. Okay, that's <laughs> I like that. That's good. Do you play Minecraft, Annie? No, I do not. Do you play yeah. video games? I do play video games. I do. I I'm actually really addicted. I don't know if anybody uh knows this really old game that was on Linux called Chips Challenge. <laughs> Can I have a bit? Yeah. There was a, mi- there was a version in the Microsoft Entertainment Pack in the 90s. Anyway, I just discovered that some amazing humans with way too much time on their hands have put all these level packs in. You can actually play it on the iPhone. Mm. So that's actually what I waste all my time on is playing this like fake version of Chips Challenge because <laughs> it's like it's like my childhood on my phone. Is it like an ASCII game? What's the? No, it's just like when the graphics are pretty shitty. You know, it's like it's a it's a it's two dimensional, and you have to collect chips in the original game and then knock off its coins. And then, but it's all puzzles. So like you have to like push the block into the water to make sure that the creature doesn't come get you, and mm. yada yada yada. It's starting to sound like Minecraft. I like it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely like a a, pre, a precursor, except this is all puzzle based. So yeah. it's like everything is like you have to get to the end, and how are you going to do that? So and and some of these puzzles are extremely tricky. I mean, they're just ridiculous. Do you, <laughs> you ever play Mist? Oh God, I loved it. You have you can get all of those too for the iPhone now. Yeah. Mist, Riven, and the Seventh Guest. Like yeah, buy them now. They are amazing. <laughs> it's like and it's like the perfect graphics for a for an iPhone. They are a little dated, but still. But yeah, but you can totally get them all. Sorry, my wife is texting me. Oh, we thought you were downloading games now. <laughs> How do you know she was texting you, you from your pocket? Did she have a certain certain kind of vibrate. It, no, well, it, <laughs> you pulled your phone out and said my wife is texting me. Before well, I didn't bro- know. I brought it out. Anybody could have been texting me, but then I saw oh, that okay. it was her. She texted me, Minecraft joke. Question, why did the sailor bring iron and gold into his boat? Answer, he needed oars. Uh, that's good. Yeah! I don't like the direction the show has taken. <laughs> it's a, like, like, it really has become our generation's prairie home companion, including... <laughs> Including really the boredom. <laughs> it's just me just talking. And then Sarah got her brand new but- hat and a, a blueberry pie and went to church. And you just kind of like, if you're wandering through, you just be like, why would anyone watch this? Which is what Dino asked. Um, but right, uh, right now, Dan, like, like, as of two days ago, Community's done. Yeah, yeah. I've I've wrapped on community. I'm done. I'm just editing now. I yep. was there yesterday at the uh, at CBS Radford and the uh, where you shoot whose line is it anyway. It's this literally the soundstage directly above where they shoot community. So in the hallway where our dressing rooms are, it goes Ryan Styles, Jeff Winger. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's not it's not the actors' names. It's the character names. And. Uh, is a character and, uh, named uh, Ryan, Ryan Stiles coming up? Pardon? Is there is a character named Ryan Stiles coming up? Well, no, he's a real person. Well, I knew that. <laughs> yes, but, but that's why I was thinking that would be a really interesting reference to make. You know, like, <laughs> a character named Ryan Stiles. But sadly, in all the doors for all the uh, community characters, it said, uh, vacant, clean room. Aww. And I've, I've been there like several weeks when it said, like, occupied. Like, don't, don't come in here. This is Annie's room. This is Jeff's room. This is Abed's room. And now... Fucking do as you do as you like. Yeah, and and uh, all now of Danny it- Pudi's like, okay, you can come in, clean it up, and there's just like blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Six dead hitchhikers. Yes. Right. Tons of a uh, weird uh, tic tac toe game is played in his own poop. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the 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 um the the Harvey Keitel character that works at Yahoo comes in and looks it over, and they and they, and they, they nods to the cleaning crew, cover it up. <laughs> Make it disappear. What, what were the numbers last night? Uh, Fifteen million dollars, sir. Make it so it didn't happen. <laughs> By the way, uh, everybody in the world watches Community. Now we know. Now that we're not being measured by Nielsen. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Like, 
I probably should have made the season better, but uh, <laughs> it could have been a real double triumph for me to be at my my peak as our viewership was and our support from the other side. But well, you're finding out that because Nielsen is so flawed that pe- yeah. more people were watching than you thought. Yeah, were? here's a fundamental way it's flawed. Guess guess who wants to fill out a diary of what they watched and sell it to Colgate? Like like <laughs> Jay Leno's audience does. Like it's not that is a dying species of television viewer. And then there's this sought after demo called the uh, what's their what's her who's it's what are these college kids whatever you call them millennials upscales uh, uh, roamers sand people I don't know what they're <laughs> banthas <laughs> nerf herders lobos tranks um <laughs> But uh, you know they don't watch they don't watch TV on TV. They, 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 they certainly, if they do, they're not watching it on a Nielsen box TV. So, oh surprise, surprise! We, we you know, Yahoo knows how to count the clicks. And g- guess what? Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Many, like you always knew. How many people? I can't say. <laughs> Why not? I, well, because it's Yahoo's business. Like I don't. Really, they're they're it's their business. Like you know, like like they're that's their. I don't know. They they're. They're not necessarily going to like publish, you know. Like okay. that was Nielsen's like business was w- we're an ind- we're this contractor and everyone give us money and then we'll announce your ratings and we'll be like this referee. That was their business. Netflix is not doing that. They're a private you know thing and they go, how many people are watching uh, House of Cards? Fuck you. We, 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 we. <laughs> Uh, do you think House of Cards is a good show? Do you feel like everyone's watching it? Yes or no? Like, 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 stick it. You know, there's no commercials. So with Yahoo, though, they have to tell advertisers, obviously. So they they have they have data, and they're just I'm not really asking, and they're not telling, but they're you know lips were loose at the drunken rat party. <laughs> Enough for me to go, holy shit! That's what I always would have guessed. T- times two or three. <laughs> I always, I always knew there was like way more people watching this shit than, than, uh, than, than whatever that point but nine represented. Are you saying that NBC and Sony didn't know that or didn't care? I think that the, I think that the dirty little, I think that the last ten years it's been a dirty little secret that the Nielsen's has not a totally effective tabulation of viewership over time we've gotten caught in this cycle where like the whole point of the nielsen system is advertising so if they're not watching commercials who cares if they're watching but the creatives all the creatives want is for numbers of people to watch their show that's how you measure their success and so now we're in this weird you know flux period where it's like okay live plus seven day live plus 30 day Yahoo doesn't even fucking like they're they're like live plus 30 day who who gives a shit like like Yahoo knows more information than the CIA about like like like, like viewership they they they're on the internet they know um, they they just have like clouds and bell curves and things well, like they well, they're, is- they're they're like here's the here's the here's the amount of people that are are emotionally uh, moved to purchase things by looking at one of Alison Bree's feet you know like that they, <laughs> they 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 don't like they're not worried about views and like 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 the week of and the night of and the month of what do you think people purchase when they look at one of her feet <laughs> it's probably like a boot or something I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. look at that foot I need a boot. I was just using the classic example. You know, Kumail tweeted at, uh, uh, at one point. He said his goal is to become so successful that uh, that one of the one of the Google auto fill ins is Kumail Nanjiani feet. It's, funny. it's like a typical thing for female celebrities. How you doing? Are you uh, bursting into flame or anything? All right, well, we got some things to talk about. So yeah, I'm successful. Uh, so will there be a season seven, or is that it? Is Community I don't done? Know. I don't know, man. What do you want? Are you allowed to say? Don't. T- I mean, I got to talk to my therapist about this. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't know. Dan, I just Dan, pretend I'm your therapist right now. Pretend Actually, no one's listening. I just. I put just your wanna, fo- I Dan, put pl- your phone down. I want to put your phone down. I want to play Minecraft. No, you don't. <laughs> I, Dan, I know you want to play Minecraft, and I, and I know that if you had your way, that you would only play Minecraft. But let's say, let's say there was a clamor and a great gnashing of teeth and wailing for another season of Community. By anybody, either by Yahoo or by the fans or whatever, would you say yes under certain circumstances? I can't tell you right now because I'm like I'm just coming have, off have, of it because you, you have bubble throat. <laughs> no, I have liquid mouth. <laughs> I I I can't I can't say that was a that's a perfectly normal thing. I drank. Dan, answer 
<laughs> and, answer a question right now. I can't talk right now because I have a little bit of liquid in my mouth. Okay. Or an ice cube, you know. It's normal. It's not to be mocked. <laughs> I think you're, Dan, as your therapist, I think you're kind of evading the question right now. Um, under, <laughs> under certain circumstances. Like I, I, know, I, I mean, I, there's so many variables. Can, First you, can, of all, can you imagine a circumstance where you would say yes to doing Yes, of another? course. I can imagine a circumstance where, you know, Hitler and I would hang out. But uh, <laughs> it, it involves him hating Jews less and coming back to life and, like, maybe being on a timeline where he didn't kill a bunch of people and, like, like having a full mustache. I mean, it's like to a, there's a certain point where he's not Hitler anymore. He's just Sam Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Jeff, how and Jeff, how would it go if Sam Elliott was in charge of the Third Reich? <laughs> you know the Jews are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews abide. <laughs> uh, the Jews abide. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, so very popular television show, uh, very popular. Uh, Do you think it's going to come back? I don't, it doesn't, okay, look, let me, let, 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 in no necessary order, let me throw some fucking variables at you. Do you does Allison Brie want to do? Uh, I don't. I, I don't know the answer to any question. You're what about does her left foot want to do? Like we don't know. <laughs> the, like, 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 I mean, the, I, the actor's contracts are up. You know, that's right. that is a big deal. Okay, so let's say uh, ratings are good. Y- Yahoo goes, hey, w- uh, Dan, you, uh, you want to try to marshal the troops and bring it back? And do you say fuck that shit, we're done, or do you say let's see what the actors think? I st- well, I would say let's see what the actors think. And and there's my start answer. from there, but mm-hmm. but but I just a million, million things have to be different. I have to get my head out of my ass and learn how to run a show so that you know. I, I would You're never going to learn how to run a show. Like, you, you've, you've proven that like you, like this is the way that you run a show, right? Like you, you you run the show the way that you run shows. But then nobody good will work for me. We had such a great crew this year, man. They were so good. They, our new DP Buzz is so so good. I would work for you, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is your first year, though. Like, you, like, you... See, then I'd have that energy, and I wouldn't hate you, so... Yeah. Did you say that you that you, you pissed off Rhonda, the prop lady, or she, she, she's on your team? It's just, it's just always hard. It's hard to work for me, because I, like, I'm just, like, the scripts come in last minute, and so if you're the person that makes uh, uh, the pants, then you're like, I can't make good pants right. now because I just saw that this person's wearing pants. If I had known they were wearing pants a week ago, I could have made the best pants ever. I like working the way that I work, but but I'm not bringing out the best in the people that work for me. You know, like they don't get a chance to like look at a script and like, like hmm, pants, huh? I got an idea. They just have to be like, oh, here's some pants. That's not, you know. You, you know that's called the wardrobe department, right? Yeah, the, pan- the, p- the, the pants people. <laughs> they really are the people at the rap party at the end of the year that are always like, they have like that, 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 that serious drama about them. For all the hell I put everyone through, it's always the wardrobe people that are like, you challenge me. <laughs> and I like the results. Ah! <laughs> and I just sort of go, come on, you make pants. Take it easy. It's just, it's just pants. Like worst case scenario, a bunch of naked, beautiful people on TV. Everyone wants that anyway. <laughs> and they also come with their own clothes. But they couldn't pull off a purple fucking cardigan. Don't let's not rag on them too much. There's only so many wardrobe people in the in the city, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, our our production designer, our prop master, our wardrobe supervisor—they've uh, been—they're old veterans of the Harmon effect, and uh, they're they're some great ladies. They're they're real heroes. I forgot my shoes last night. Uh, right right before getting dressed for Who's Line, I was, I was taping the Who's Lines anyway, and getting dressed, I look in my bag. I forgot my shoes at home, and I I go to the wardrobe. People's like, I got no shoes. And they ran to Marshall's and bought me some shoes that were a, a good size too small. And, and so I, I sent a PA to my place, and he got stuck in traffic. So for the first two hours of a four-hour taping, uh, really small shoes. Mm. <laughs> and then I, I kept playing Jar Jar Binks uh, in a game, and, and Wayne Brady kept coming and cutting my throat because he hates Jar Jar Binks. 
That's a brave choice. <laughs> Wait, to, to kill Jar Jar or to play Jar Jar? To kill him, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to be anti Jar Jar yeah. at an improv scene. Is, uh... <laughs> but I, I broke a cufflink, so I had, I had small shoes and one cufflink on. It was, it was a rough night for me. Oh, man. Yeah. Fists with your toes. Fists with your toes? <laughs> All right. So, uh... see, again, Dan, I, I have to say this. Um, there's you when you're working and you're in your manic, like, the shit to get done mode. And then when there's you when you're not working, and it's you, right, you're seated the entire show. Well, this, this, I, is, this, is the fir- this is the first time you've been seated this long. Is it because we Wait, brought? Are in? you sitting because you're trying to be sensitive to me? No, I just no. I actually love <laughs> like sitting. You can't stand. So it doesn't I mean, matter if the guest is 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 able to uh, run laps around I would the stage. Just I, that'd be really funny. Like you thought that would make me com- feel comfortable. It, I'm one of you. Too. I'm yeah. sitting. I can <laughs> sit. Uh, I, I, I had a I had a girlfriend once who uh, I swear to God um, the the um, suspend uh, your disbelief everybody she was she was uh, she told me about a show she was in she used to perform for these th- there was this guy that that that, that had somehow stumbled into the kind of like gold mine of writing special shows for school kids. I think I've maybe talked about this on the podcast before, but like she was in a couple of his shows. So like he would write these like educational shows, and they would be like musicals. And one of them that he wrote was for it was like to you, now th- this is where the language gets difficult because what is the point? Is it to raise awareness? Is it to comfort? Is it to benefit? It just, th- but it just has that he didn't. It just had that specialness vibe on it because there was like this show he wrote that was about a um, a kid in a wheelchair who uh, g- uh, goes to a magical land uh, where everyone ha- is a car. <laughs> and, and the insinuation is like, like and I was like so confused. I, I had so many questions. I was like, so is the idea, she, does he ever, does, 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 does the kid come back and, 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 and be like, now I feel better about, and she's like, no, he stays there, but he's happier because everyone else has w- wheels. <laughs> And I'm like, that's not. Does it, does anyone check this guy's like license to write for children? Like, it's just like the kids in a wheelchair that he gets transported to, to a, heaven to, a, to car world, and then the cars are like they have these car songs, and she would she would because she had a couple of them memorized. They were like, everybody's doing the traffic jam, do they, David? <laughs> doing the traffic jam. Uh, I, I, it, 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 it was uh, I was so like intrigued by this guy and his career. Um, yeah, they just they, we have wheels too. Um, anyways, that that's what, that made me think of that the idea that I would be sitting for for your benefit uh, to help you out like a magical car. Uh, Thank you. I was getting really jealous. So. Are we finding out that you brought Annie up just so you could sit down? I well, I I often bring guests up just so I can sit down because when the guests come up, I can't stand there. So yes, I often bring people up so I can sit down. <laughs> Annie, I brought up so that she, she could verify that I'm like the world's greatest showrunner. Totally amazing. Totally turned the wardrobe department over to her, and the result was an almost purple sweater. <laughs> but I we really almost admit, got it done, people. We almost got it yeah. done. Yeah, it's just the headlines, you know. Tomorrow, TMZ, Dan helps Annie. All right. Uh, Are we gonna get more sit down rapper? I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Like. Lazy, lazy, lazy sit down rapper. I loved the, the smattering of applause I got where everybody else was like, <laughs> why would you even bring that up? <laughs> I wanted to talk, I wanted to suss through something. I blocked Adam Goldberg on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> and I can't really remember why. I just know that I did. I know why I did. I don't know if anybody, if it's possible, like you, you all have your phones in the audience. Like, if somebody can pull up like a timeline and look at like, because I ha- I always hashtag when I block somebody, I hashtag at Harmon Block 2015. Uh, <laughs> and so, if you look, I don't know if you can find the what he said right before I did that. Uh, I, I'm so curious, like what he did wrong. Do you think was it because he said one thing, or because it was too many things in a row? No, or? it was like it was like it was just I wasn't I was in the wrong mood at the wrong time. Like I I said something like. I, don't, I was in a certain zone and like said something, and then he, he was like snarky and dot connecty about it, like, and I, and I, and I, and I was just like, fuck, fuck you, you fucking jackass. I just, like, elaborate on why millennials are eight-year-olds. Oh, okay, yeah. Just, like, elaborate. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah, okay. So I was just in a pissy mood. I, 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 I tweeted like an anti-millennial tweet. I said, I said, remember when millennials were eight years old? 
and we said they're the future and now it's the future and sure enough we're all fucking eight years old um <laughs> Uh, and and then he, then I don't know what he said. He said like, "Well, can you elaborate on that?" Then I said, "Fuck you." <laughs> and I said, "Can you, can you, can you, can you live without a source of something to react to?" <laughs> Fuck you, Harmon Block. Wait, you, you have a hashtag for blocking people? Sorry, what? Feel free to exist as a collection of oh, that's what I said to him. Feel oh. free to exist as a collection of reactions. Wow. Did, did you look I that up right now, or did you, uh, did you, did you know that from memory? <laughs> oh, she looked it up. That's, uh, that's better. <laughs> Thank I, you. I actually heard two different people called me to tell me about hashtag Harmon Block 2015. They're like, Dan's blocking all these people, and like literally trying to talk to me as though this is like gossip that is necessary in life. Like, what are you taking right now, Dan? What is this? I got the ADD real bad. <laughs> Steady as a rock. <laughs> but he shoots with this hand. Totally legal. Got a prescription. <laughs> Got the ADD real bad. Does it, does it get you high? No. no it's actually, I'm, now I'm taking it. Like, remember when they warned you in the after school specials? Like, so, and after a while, you're taking it just to stay normal. Yeah, that's me. Because I, I, I was taking it to, like, stay awake uh, and finish writing. And uh, now, as a, then I, yeah, so now I wake up and, like, because I have to taper off of it. Because it's like, otherwise my eyelids are like anvils. Like, it's... It's 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 exactly what you would think. Like it's just a cartoonish inversion of what you get from the pill. Is like the you're if you're coming off of it, it's like holy shit! I'm really tired and super able to focus. Wait, no, it's a, what do I take it for? Focusing. Okay. <laughs> super unable to focus. Something about focus. <sighs> Annie, why one N? Um. Well. I know, I know it's the question that's been on everybody's mind. Um, actually, so it's, uh, it's short for my legal name. Um, my, my name ends in A-N-I-E. And at some point, uh, my friends and I thought it was clever for me to go by Annie, like for all those girls in the world whose name ends with A-N-I-E or A-N-Y, you know, the Tiffany's, you, the uh, Britney's, the, all the Stephanie's. Are you Stephanie or are you? Which, which one, do, are you, are you which Stephan- one do you think I am? You're, you're a Stephanie all the way. I'm not a Stephanie. Not Britney. I am a Britney. I was gonna guess a Britney. Yeah, but I, but I, yeah. So I always hated it, and I was like, and I was also really into the Anne of Green Gables books. So I was like, well, Annie is kind of like Anne, and I can be that kind of dork. So it was. Uh, Dan, why one N? <laughs> <laughs> Just seemed like a good place to stop, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, I don't. I don't want you cooking up here, and I gotta, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring out more people. I think so. Oh, yeah, I know. Get rid of me. Give a hand for Annie. And do you need help getting down? All right. Now that she's gone, I can stand up. I got. Damn it, Dan. That's just. You're you trying to mock Annie by standing up the whole rest of the show? I don't know. I just feel like this is what I've always done. If somebody comes up, I sit down. and somebody's not up here, I stand up. I don't know. Straight. <laughs> I thought maybe it would give me a little boost of energy because God knows that medicine won't kick in until midnight. It takes a while to, to kick in? Yeah. Do you, do you feel like kicking in? Uh, not, not these days, I no. can't take that at all because when I do it, it's like doing just a bag of Coke. Like I, 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 like, I, I, I once took one at 7 p.m. and like, I was wallpapering my apartment at 4 a.m. I'm like, I got, I got shit to do. It's like, cock a doodle do, motherfucker. You, if you've never taken it and you, and you take that, that's the effect. Or if you don't take it for a really long time, then that's the, that is yeah. the effect. And I believe, I always assumed. Like that, if that if it's having that effect on you, that means you don't have ADD. Right. Um, Correct. Uh, but my uh, friend has ADD. She takes it, and her memory comes back. Right. And she, and she also goes to bed at nine p.m. or ten p.m. Yeah. But as I started taking it more, like like because I got a real prescription, so I was like, okay, now I'm taking it. I did. It did even out, and I did feel, as I said, like I felt like there were positive effects that had nothing to do with staying awake. And and you know Spencer's. Spencer's kind of convinced that I that I have ADD, but you know that's just coming from his expertise. 
as a dungeon master. <laughs> Should we bring him out and talk to him about my ADD? Spencer Crittenden! P. H. D. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? That's good. Spencer, uh, what do you base your, uh, your findings that Dan might have uh, ADHD or ADD? It's funny. I just like uh, was missing my cue. I almost didn't come in because I was just explaining to Demorge uh, the answer to this very question. <laughs> it's just, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but my little brother is really ADD. And apparently, I'm pretty ADD according to doctors and stuff. I don't know if anyone buys that, but... Um, so I mean, I my doctor know. would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just yes. according to your doctor, we all have ADD. <laughs> but and, I've seen and glaucoma. I've uh, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my doctor. Though. Those are two totally different doctors on my yeah. side. <laughs> but uh, no, I work with the guy. I see his uh, his behavior, his antics at work, and it's just it's very. Uh, to me, it just seems like a guy who has ADD. You know, no offense, Dan. You do great work. But uh, just your mannerisms, they seem very uh, yeah. deficit in terms of attention. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Uh, what, what do you, what do you, uh, what, what's your view of this season? Like, 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 do you have any, any uh, like, like, people are probably curious. Like, what, what happened? Uh, you know, you're sitting, in, sitting there the whole time. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You have any interesting insights about about my work? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I I don't know. It's it's I I feel like people say it. It's just like it's it's all it's all coming from you. I mean, obviously the writers do uh, great work, but at the end of the day, uh, everything that is on screen is happened because of something in your brain, and uh, as such, you know, it's it's lame to give the other writers credit. <laughs> Uh, Spencer, <laughs> what is your day-to-day -day task at the show? Okay, so I get in. Usually Dan's still asleep or he's ambiguously in his office poten potentially asleep. So I don't want to bother him. And when what, what time of day are we talking? Uh, you know, anywhere from 7 a.m. to 9.30. Mm -hmm. It depends on, uh, you know, the night before. And uh, when, I, when I determine that he is, in fact, awake, I try and ask him what he, what he needs. What he needs, if he needs coffee or, or food or something. And uh, then I... I go do that, and uh, I sit around, and uh, I basically repeat that routine for, you know, the whole time. It's great. And I, other than that, I'm just sitting around and listening and observing. And are, are you in the writer's room? While, while, while the, while the, while the Not so much this season. It was, uh, it was a hot office, and there wasn't as many chairs. I, I would sit. My room is right outside the office, and uh, the walls were, like, paper thin, so I could hear everything <laughs> all, at all times. And... Uh, yeah. Do you, do you feel like do you, do you have ambitions to like write your own stuff and uh, like maybe have a show your, of your own? Yeah, definitely. I just uh, don't think I am like good at anything, so I I don't know but, how I could do it. Do you feel but. that your time uh, listening through the walls, like community, m might have prepared you in some way? Like, have you learned stuff? Certainly, I think knowing how a writer's room works is a skill. I don't know if it's something that they're gonna like look at and be like, "Oh, we got to get this guy," but. <laughs> I think that it's certainly something that does actually help because you have a you have an expectation and you kind of understand the packing order and just the the workflow and how things go. So I mean I think it's it's valuable for that reason. Also, you know you learn you learn about writing. Are, are you writing your own stuff? No. <laughs> I've written a couple things, but I I, I got off the wagon. I got to start. I gotta are, start. are you one of those types? Because I'm not. Like I have friends that are writers, and the reason why I'm not a stand up or a writer is because I don't, I don't think of comedy in terms of jokes. Like the, like stand up friends of mine, they get up and they write jokes, and they they want to get up and do material. And writers wake up in the morning and go, I have a, I want I have to make a show about a, a guy that does a, this thing or a girl that does this thing. I, I don't think in terms of ideas like that. Are you one of those people? Like, do, you, do, you, do you think of premises? Premises? I think of ideas in terms of like traps and monsters usually. <laughs> so it's it's kind of it takes some creative work to turn that into like a script or a joke. Uh, are, are, are you a, are you a story kind of guy? Like I mean, obviously we know that you're good at like character and and uh, like character development and creation and certainly trap development. I I guess you'd say. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess you'd say I'm more of a world builder, in all honesty. Like, I'll think about things, and then it's like, oh, yeah, and the pizza store he goes at, it uh, it has this guy, and he, you know, has a mom that he's paying for cancer or something. Why does he pay for cancer? <laughs> um, <laughs> other people get it for free. But... Uh, <laughs> No, but so just you know, it's world really, building. It's really throwing your money away. <laughs> yeah. uh, Paying for kids. But so that's that's usually how my mind goes. I, I would I could see you like writing a show because you're very gifted. But I could also see you having like, you know, there's these MythBuster guys. You know, like they, 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 I like that show. I watch MythBusters. But I, you, I, I would watch a show where Spencer like is busting traps or I don't know, like a <laughs> busting traps, trap busters. <laughs> Just trap trying to thwart trap adventurers. Sensors. Trap sensors. Oh, it man. would be interesting to have a show just to, you know, like 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 a kind of a I don't know how you do it without hurting people, but like the idea of like <laughs> like just traps, like people traps, like like like, <laughs> like, like like I don't know, just doing weird shit to people. Well, it's I, I, the I, new I, challenge room. I, you know, I, I, I would say this, Dan. If you were going to make that show, if you were the head of a network and you came to me, the, the junior head of the network, and said, "Is there a way to do a show without hurting people or there's traps?" <laughs> And people are trying to evade traps. <laughs> and maybe some people get caught in traps. I would say, well, the first thing I know is we've got to get Spencer Crittenden on this thing. <laughs> yeah. They have, um, they have, uh, they have these like, uh, things that you can go to. You know, like those games we were talking about, uh, Mist. Um, you know, and they have those games on the iPad. Like, uh, Escape the Room, I think. The Room. Called. Yeah, like, like Escape the Room is the name of the genre. Is that, like, Something like that. Like, like they have live action Escape the Room, like events room. that you can you can buy a ticket yeah. to and go to and you're like in a room and there's like a guy chained up like a zombie and the <laughs> chain is getting gradually longer i guess <laughs> yeah but and then and you have to like figure out like these kind of like esoteric puzzles and things i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't i don't think i would enjoy that i would i it's fun well i'm sure it's not it's not fun it's horrible we, we did you went and did one yeah. can you come and talk to us about it <laughs> <laughs> wait are you willing to come up here you don't you don't have to Okay, come on up. I just want to hear. She's got shiny pants and a shiny necklace. Hello, what's your name? Ginny. Ginny? Yeah, grab, with with grab, a G I N N Y. Grab that mic next it. to you. Next oh. to you. Hi. Hello, Ginny. Does Hi. it does it does it bum you guys out when I switch mics like that uh, back there? Oh, okay, <laughs> they're pros. Sparkle pants. What, uh, J- 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 Ginny, you said. You said? Okay, so you went. What, you you went to one of these live action uh, puzzle game uh, things. I did, and it was a horrible idea because I took mushrooms first. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> this is not the vendor's fault. <laughs> but just a little, like a tiny little bit of. It. That's like I have no idea if uh, if Wicked is a good player or not. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it makes your eyeballs wiggle. <laughs> it's teeth grindingly uh, <laughs> wonderful. Um, the uh, well, but okay, but continue. So what? So there's this building in New York. It's not, I'm from New York, but um, <laughs> you go in and it's a bunch of goofy actors. And what, what we, show, we're what, familiar what, with New York. What show did you see? It was called. <laughs> nice, Dan. Dan's doing the world's longest, least merited camera take. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense because we're in LA. I don't know if they're... Yeah, I mean, way more so. I mean, there's nothing but actors here. New York has a couple of people who are selling fish. Um, what was the show called again? It's called The Room, and it's just like a big building, and you go through all the rooms. And, and you, you, are you with a group of people? Yeah, and you have to try to figure it out. and then you As get, a group? Yeah. Are, are you, you're talking it out with each other? Yeah, it's just really, there's a bunch of people that are like pretending to give you a hard time, but. <laughs> 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 like they're per- paid performers that, yeah. are, that, are, that are like, look, it's the not even my idea to be to, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like standing There's always in people front like of the me door. that have to deal with this. Like, I'm not going to say what race that guy is. <laughs> but he's wearing a flannel shirt and like a, with like a thermal shirt underneath it. And he's like salt of the earth. Like reminding you that you're privileged. And like, that, uh, that, that's the first character I'd want to write for one of the sex characters. <laughs> would probably come up with a better one then. I, I would, I, I would, of course I would, yeah. I, 
I, I, I got excited about a ver- like like Aaron told me about a thing where you pay, and then you, it's like a like a Halloween horror thing where you pay and then you go and it's 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 like a tour. God, what am I doing? I I, 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 I don't know how to talk. I, I, I you, you like you, you, you. I thought Adderall was supposed to help you focus. Well, I took I took that that thing minutes ago. It's for it's for Minecrafting all night. <laughs> it'll it'll kick in halfway through an episode of Empire. Why not be a professional and take this four hours before the show? I forgot because okay. I'm not focused on anything. <laughs> The um the I forgot my Alzheimer's medication. Um, okay, the uh, um you go to a thing and like you're uh, it's like a, a, a one of the, it's like a haunted house a haunted like, house but like you're um it's like a zombie apocalypse but you're like led through this thing by like these SWAT team guys who are like survivors and they go like come on get through get through the door come on it's closing and you're like in a in a bomb shelter kind of th- situation. And you like run from point to point with like these guys that are like have guns and stuff, and they're but they're like performers, but there's then there's zombies attacking. I was like that that is the only thing I've ever heard of that sounded kind of fun, like that I would enjoy doing, except for the ru- running. If there's, <laughs> but but like like just the idea that there's just like some kind of like if you combined that with like a murder mystery thing where like. You you're like oh I'm Professor uh, Johnson and I I I I I need to I need to mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> like if there was a little bit of role playing to it maybe and you kind of did it with your friends so you 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 give them a thousand dollars and like you take eighty of your friends you go in and then they, there's these SWAT team guys that go come on. Like 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 okay okay so you get in a, you get a, you get dropped off in a shuttle. Are, are you pushing, or should we? Are we creating a new show right now? Like well, I don't, yeah, and I don't know how much of it this that they do, but when I heard the idea, I got excited about it because this is what I pictured. Like you get in a shuttle and then you get dropped off of like a little like a little beach or something, and then like you pre- there's like a like a pretensies like downbeat thing that's going on. It's like happy birthday, Jeff, and you're like on a beach and you're like, <laughs> you know, like, happy birthday, Jeff, and then there's like like a zombie attack that's just sort of staged. Like like there's, there's a there's a guy. Who's in your party that you know? He's like a red shirt in Star Trek. Like he's on the bus with you, and and, and it's like, I, and y'all know me. I'm Gail, and everyone's like, Gail, you fuckface, and and, and then like Gail wanders off, and like he gets he gets attacked horribly by a zombie, and like and, 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 then, and then we go, oh shit, and then like uh, cops or soldiers come up and go, come on, come on, come on, come on, and then like go, and then you like take you to a shelter. And then I don't know. Then you do. Then you have to like vote on who to feed to the zombies or something. Or, or this is very similar to my experience. Yeah. So okay. So yeah. I forgot. So, I forgot. Were, were you hallucinogenically high? Uh, no, no, no. Just like fun high. Fun high. Yeah. G- so, high. So you get, so you get to this you get to this room and then they go like oh you get to solve a puzzle. Yeah, and there's like a door in the corner and. They expect you to Are the easy puzzles or hard puzzles? Yeah, is it like is it like the room challenge where it's like, uh oh, there's a doormat and there's actually there's like a key taped to the bottom of a drawer. It, and it, yeah, so it actually yeah. is just this physical kind of perceptiveness. Yeah, it's like the physic. It's a real live version of a point and click like exactly. thing where you just like run your cursor over everything. <laughs> You just like r- r- run, drag your hand across the room until yeah. a, a so shingle I turns around. All those games. So I was like the smartest person in my group. That mm. I'm like, there's a box on the top of the dresser that has a key in it, <laughs> and it's got like like we have to reset the clock. And, right. Yeah. And then the clock makes a, another key come out. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, Ginny is Ginny. Ginny, yeah. Ginny! Sparkle pants, Ginny. Sparkle pants, high on mushrooms all the time. <laughs> Has a major drug problem, Sparkle Pants. Needs an intervention. I went to a show uh, with uh, Dino told me to go to in New York called Sleep No More. Have you guys been to that? Yeah. That, I, that, that's Macbeth. But you, you go into a big hotel and it's a 20s jazz club and you walk in and you, you get split up from your people and you, you put a mask on and you walk through rooms and you're encouraged to go snoop through drawers and like like look around and read stuff and... And I, I, for the first 45 minutes, nothing was going on. I was like, this sucks. And then you would hear some commotion, and you start like, snooping around and following stuff, and then you start watching Hamlet be, be played out. But also, it's, like, it's just like you're just in rooms, and you watch a murder. Then everyone gets naked, and they're just dancing around. It's great. Yeah. Everywhere you go, that happens. <laughs> That's like a McDonald's. <laughs> That's not going to happen to any of us. Well, not with that attitude. 
So Aaron is at home right now uh, because the Nigel, the grief dog, the new dog, he ate a pile of Harvey's hair. And so all his... First, uh, pause. Why is there a pile of Harvey's hair? Because it's summertime. We're starting to give him a little haircuts. So oh. Aaron gave him a little haircut. So there's a pile of okay. shaved hair from and Harvey. Dogs eat hair? Oh, they, yeah. Grief I mean, dogs do. This, this, grief dogs. <laughs> so Nigel ate Harvey's hair, and then he was, his poops have, like, like ropes coming out of him. And, and Aaron has to pull him. <laughs> like, he's a, like he's a British Christmas popper. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no, there, you don't get a whistle, you don't get anything. My, I had a dog one time that ate uh, the like a um, an insole of a shoe, like a foam shoe liner insole, and it came out like a perfectly spiraled poop shaped. Oh it just went straight through this dog's body and came out as a shoe liner. It was amazing. I'm I'm, I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, I figure that dogs that, that, that are among us, like they're the descendants of the dogs that mutated the ability to just eat anything and not die, almost. Except Harvey had an incident with a, with a fan's uh, Rice Krispie treat tray. <laughs> I told you guys about that. Uh, but, but, yeah, so they, 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 yeah, they can... So Nigel the Grief Dog is pooping hair ropes right now? Yeah. And, and, and Aaron has to physically pull them out of his butt? Because it hurts his little took us to... <laughs> It hurts him to make the poops, and he's and he's in the middle of getting trained how to poop, so he's like, "This is what I'm supposed to do." You care where I do this? It hurts, and we're like, "Yeah, don't do that in the wrong place." And he's like, "It hurts. It's all the wrong place." I've never heard of a dog eating hair. That's a hungry dog. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to feed him for the first seven months. Oh. Okay, now there's your problem. Yeah. There's your problem. Although I did get my dog training book on eBay, and there's a page missing. Uh, called Don't... Called, don't by not, the way, you're supposed to feed Don't not feed your dog. Yeah. yeah. It was like, the way the words break down, it's like I, it, made, it was the equivalent of the six that turns into a nine. I haven't fed my dog in seven months. Fart corner. I'm all done with that fucking show. And, uh... <laughs> Are you happy? Are you, I don't even it, know. It, I don't it, even know. Is it a weight off your shoulders? Or of course you it's a weight. If it's, it's, like a, it's like the understatement you, you, you of the year. You seem like you're, uh, you're just kind of neutrally buoyant I'm right j- now. I have no idea who I am, what I'm doing. I have no idea what I like. I don't know who likes me. I'm so- I don't know if Chris McKenna hates me or if he loves me. I have no idea. I, 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 I'm not joking. I, I sense that because... And I'm not saying this to be like you know like corny, but like I feel like your identity is often what you're working on, and that, that goes for lots of us, everybody. Like when you're working on something, that is a huge part of who you are. Yeah. And now that that show is over, do you feel like there's a like a suspension of like, like identity? Yes. It's called workaholism, which it sounds productive, but like it it can also just be this, just like a slob. Who like only knows who he is, like yeah, like does, by what he does. Does that make you want to throw yourself into Rick and Morty or whatever's next, or does it make you want to just play Minecraft? Or I'd like to play Minecraft for a little while. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, which is me working digitally, you know, mm-hmm. so I know who I am by my marble cube. But, 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 you, you don't, you don't ever picture yourself like, like fuck it, I'm gonna go to the fucking, I'm gonna go to Saint Tropez and sit on a beach and just chill and have a. Have a nice. I'm gonna go to Barcelona with uh, Aaron. They invited us out for a film festival, television festival kind of thing. That's uh, nice. They're gonna treat us real nice. That's great. It's kind of a working vacation because I'll do a lot of press in Spanish. I don't I like. I, like, I don't speak Spanish. Catalan. 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 Okay, I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> What 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 is that? That's a dialect they're speaking in Barcelona. Mm. Oh, so I can't call it Spanish. It's they, they speak Spanish. If you speak Spanish, they'll understand you, but they might speak back to you in Catalan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, uh, here, here's all you need to know about Barcelona. Do you like ham? Yes. You're good to go. <laughs> you cannot be a fucking vegetarian in Barcelona because it's simply ham. 
All they fi- they will put a they'll put a bit of ham on everything you get. I talked to a motherfucker for ten minutes in Spanish about my paella. I said this is the vegetarian paella and it still had sausage and shrimp in it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? He goes, I verduras. There's vegetables in it. I'm like, I got any fucking vegetables. And there's, there's a shrimp on top of it, on top of a sausage. <laughs> He's eating some of your vegetables. The <laughs> shrimp is like, excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Now, they don't, they don't take it. If you like ham, you're fucking ready to rock there. All you have to do is go into a place and say ham. I wonder if anyone really does like ham. Doesn't it seem like this is a dumb meat? Who, d- who does or does not like Well, ham? just like anyone who's like a fan of ham. Like, like it seems like it's You're going like to go to their... Barcelona, Jackson, and they fucking are, the, the whole city's based on ham. You go into a restaurant, and there's just fucking hams hanging in the window. But that's different. That's an old, they're an old world. Like, they love survival. Like, like the Irish love potatoes because it's like it could grow in Ireland. Like no, they, no, no, this is luxury. This is, this is leisure meat. Like, you, 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 and they're you, saying, you, like, I, I, want, I came for the ham. I came to Barcelona for the ham. I can't wait to eat ham. Yeah, you do. That's that why just seems like, dumb that's to me. That's why you fucking that's, that's, like, that's like liking tile grout or something. Like, I don't know. It just seems it's dumb. It's a fucking ham, ham joint. It's, it's a ham I can bone. see somebody liking lamb stuff. Beef, chicken, any other uh, meats? Ham. <laughs> well, there's ham's the fourth one, and I just think it's like the the er, the early '90s Fox Network of of meats. <laughs> it's just not a contender. They just they haven't gotten their Simpsons yet. Like it's just like it's just it's just garbage. You know, it's just it's a ham just seems like a dumb meat. Salami. But it's, it's, it's what is salami? It's is a that, sausage. Is that a, it's, it's just it's a spicy. I don't know anything sauce. about meat. I'm angry about it. I don't understand what the hell any of this shit is. You know, there's, you know all these animals are dying. Look at me. I look like a pig. I, I, like, and I, 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 I look, every day, I was like, Spencer, go get me a fucking burger. And it's like, somewhere there's this assembly line of these sad animals that have like IQs California's, higher than California's some of the people I work with. California's out of water. We're out of fucking water here in California. If you fly in on a plane in the daytime, you land in California, look out the window and look at all the reservoirs empty. It's there's no crazy. fucking water here. And yet... We have tons of water to grow alfalfa, which is what we feed cows. And it takes like a fucking ton of acres of, of alfalfa to make a couple pounds of meat. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's completely insane. And then they fart, and the cows fart, and that's an environmental thing. The cow farts. Did the you cow, know that? That's just a, that's just a fucking bugbear, man. It's, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a bogey. What? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a muck-a-muck. Uh, the, it's a muffle mass. I, I do. <laughs> Damn, you've been muffle mashed, man. <laughs> but I, I hear tell that the, the, the uh, beef is like a big problem, you know, the, uh, deforestation. It's 9 11. Nice. <laughs> it's 9 11. It's 9 11. Make a wish. Or, what, what do we do now? Do we make. <laughs> I, 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 our new tradition is every week you forget. <laughs> like, but, but, we, but we never really. Have we settled on one? Well, it's like, I, I, th- I, I think for this week we make a one act play about 9 11. Okay. Or, no, we make a one-act play about whatever we were just talking about. Well, it's a, we do a one-act play about uh, set against the backdrop of 9-11. Okay. Uh, but it's about something else. Okay, but about... about jeans. About no, jeans. No, don't, that's, uh, don't go there. Okay. There's an urban legend about firefighters stealing jeans during 9-11. It's not true. Stealing <laughs> jeans? Yeah. From where? <sighs> from, the, from the concourse underneath 9-11. There was like... Yeah, it's an urban legend. Is that there's this guy that wrote a book about Ground Zero, and what like, the like, fuck? like there was this there was this urban legend that developed where they found a, a fire truck filled with jeans from the Gap, and it's the most ridiculous urban legend because it's like, can you imagine being a firefighter during 9/11 and you're like, boys, <laughs> you're looking at this the wrong way. It's just so silly. It's just. For, for every for everything that we hold sacred, someone has to like create some kind of thing. It's just like we have a, our mind creates mythology. So there was like there was like this there, there was this I, there was this notion. It's completely unverifiable that they they unearthed in the rubble a fire truck and it was filled with jeans. <laughs> And, I, and for the, and, and I hope I, I, I don't, I, I can feel it's clear in the room, but for the, in case it doesn't translate over electronic fibers, like we're laughing at the 
we're we're laughing because 9/11's bad and people are good and firefighters are great and like we're la- we're not laughing like at 9/11. But our firefighters firefighters great only because of their weird love of jeans. I that's what I mean it is like it's funny it gets it just gets you like we were in the Rick and Morty writers room we were talking about this for 3 hours about the firefighters stealing the jeans and we we developed a whole movie about about a firefighter what was it? What was can, the can, movie called? Can, can we can we fade in? Can you can can we see the, some of that movie? The movie I know the slogan for the movie was "One Size Fits All." <laughs> it's or it's not like, like, but well no I, no I I want to I want to talk about it logistically the the because the the poster I also remember the poster I drew <laughs> was the New York skyline <laughs> with with two. L- legs. legs of jeans that became. <laughs> oh oh oh! And the title. Uh, right, uh, I remember d- d- the title. D- d- became what? Became what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there's, there's, the, 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 and the, 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 the story is about a firefighter who survives 9/11 with a bunch of jeans. <laughs> And and he now goes around the country and he gives a pair of pants to each uh, family of uh, of a victim of nine eleven, and and they magically all fit like 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 oh there's like a so like a tra- traveling pants like like thing in there. But and the the title of the movie was re now just I got to get this right so redenimation. <laughs> We developed the whole movie. We did not work on Rick and Morty for a half a day, and we were and we were just crying, laughing. Of course, we're crying, laughing because it's tra- you know the, the, it's the, that's that's why these. Things how did the happen. firefighter acquire all of these jeans? Like, how did he come across? The them idea all? is that there's a concourse underneath uh, the World Trade Center that has all these stores and stuff, and there was like they they, they were looting before they really realized the gravity. It was just it's just it's not true. It's not a real story. It was it was printed in a book. By a guy who did not verify the story, he just kept hearing it. But every time, every person he heard it from was not a verifiable, you know, it was just urban legend. So he printed an urban legend, so it became like a real urban legend. So like you, you know, you, you Google like or Yahoo uh, 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 fire, firefighter pants nine eleven. Nice catch. Jeans, nice catch. It really is a good search engine. It's much more it's than not, a search. It's so much more than searching. You could, you could, without even looking for it, you could find your horoscope. You don't even have to search for that. I bet on Google you have to type, what's my horoscope? Yahoo, it's there. And they have a whole section called Yahoo Answers. You ever want to know anything from a 16-year-old who doesn't know anything? You could just go on there and go, hey, how much does a basketball cost? And someone will go, like, why are you asking? Go see a doctor. It's a great service. Yahoo Answers. Just a bunch of dingbats at a, at a 250 million way intersection. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo Answers. Uh, because some answers are bad, is their slogan. Uh, yeah, redemption. So when the people get the pants and they magically fit, then they're like, okay, thank you, but fucked up what you did <laughs> and he's like I couldn't have and like we know like, but, but, but still but then, but then should, you should have tried and should, he's like okay should, shouldn't that guy go I, I gave away all the pants I, I did what I could I like every, everyone got pants that was affected by this they all fit and he goes back home to Long Island to his family or Staten Island let's say and he goes back home with his wife and kids and his sister and a knock on the door and there's an old day. oh shit I... <laughs> <laughs> that was by accident or was it? Uh, there's a knock on the door, and there's an old like, like I, I'm picturing the the, the 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 Asian guy from uh, Gremlins, the guy that so, that gives him the mogwai. <laughs> and he goes, uh, you know that, that there's a uh, those jeans. Uh, there's a reason why they were hidden down there in that concourse beneath the uh, World Trade Center Tower oh, no. tower, tower One, it's because those jeans are cursed. Oh <laughs> no! And now there's going to be, and then you pull back, and there's there's towers being built. <laughs> Everywhere where he gave pants away. <laughs> yeah, and then that music plays. 
<laughs> what did you? What are you shaking your head for? What did you expect? I, I wanted you to launch into one of your famous fade-ins on a fucking, you know, like the. Like. That's a. Fa- that's the end of the movie. It's, no, it's the beginning of the second act. <laughs> what? It's the beginning. The first act is 9-11 happens yes. and a firefighter gives away all of the pants. Yes. And at the end of the first act, a no. Chinese guy says, no. those pants no, caused no. 9-11. No, that, that's the crossing of the first threshold. The Are first you Christopher th- Nolan? Yes. <laughs> the first threshold. Is the guy goes, oh, seems like a good movie. That, that, that seems like that was enough. However, no, no. You got yourself into a world of, of fucking... <laughs> This is this is way bigger than you jeans. Got, it's way bigger than 911. You got three hours of McConaughey in a bookshelf uh, to come. No, you gave a, oh. you gave everybody cursed pants. All right, These are all cursed right. pants. Uh, <laughs> I've not seen the movie you're talking you about. Gotta, you gotta see this movie. <laughs> oh, behind the bookcase. <laughs> oh, there's me. <laughs> oh, I, that's when I did that. Oh. I'm a little bolder now because since I since I aired that my grievances about Interstellar, I've, a lot of people have come forward and thanked me for my bravery <laughs> and said thank you. I can't I can't say it. You know I'm a I'm a PA <laughs> or a stunt coordinator. You know I, someone has to fall off that bookcase. Like, N- Nolan runs this town. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for saying that that, that the movie's a little silly. Anyways, your movie. My movie is that the, the movie starts when the when the guy finds out that the pants he, he gave away, he thought he was doing a good deed. So, at what point Cursed in your pants. movie is the guy okay. going from town to town, giving pants and having these emotional conversations? Like, I would call that a road of trials. Right. Okay. Let's, 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 but let's, you, for you, it's just like a pr- nor ordinary no, 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 world. No, 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 let's, let's make it. Let's make it the uh, the the. the, the uh, the meeting with the goddess. The meeting with the is, goddess is, right, yeah. is the is the Chinese like, guy like, oh, saying finding the pants uh, is is the top of the circle. The bottom of the circle is like oh, finding out what the pants are actually. When you about. say finding the pants, you mean looting them from nine eleven, right? Right. So it fades in on nine eleven. Yeah, a guy a guy says, "Oh shit, free pants, nine eleven, <laughs> fucking great." Then his wife goes, "Honey, that's fucking you 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 profited. You got we we have a fire tr- <laughs> a fire truck <laughs> full of jeans are, outside." Are, are, are we identifying with this character? So like it fades in and nine eleven's happening. Yes, and then it catches you like I've. A certain battalion, and the guys goes like, "Go, go, go, go! Uh, up, up to floor nineteen, up to floor 19. And the guys and like, then, "This is just a fire. It's gonna be." Or fine. there's an accident, like the sign. Like you got, if you really want to identify with the guy, like the sign has to turn upside down, so okay. he goes to the wrong floor. S- sure. So and then, then, he and then he's just surrounded with and pants. There's, there's jeans, and maybe maybe someone else says, "Hey, you know, everybody clear out the building. It's like it's just, it's just a fire. Let's, let's get everybody out of here." And he goes like, "Oh, these fucking jeans in there. I'm right. Gonna take these jeans." And then so he goes home. And he's got a bunch of jeans, but he gets home and he goes, "I gotta get these jeans out of here." And then he realizes all of his friends are dead, and, is, and, he, and he feels guilty about it. So he goes and gives all the genes away. He's like, I'm going to make my mission to travel the Earth. So it's like a cold – 9-11 is the cold open. Right. Like, and it ends it, – it's like, like, like yeah. He, he, so he runs into – and he's like, 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 I think you need – like, you'd have to do it in flashback, which is kind of cheating. But you have to establish that this guy – like, like you're, you know, Turk 182. Yeah. Like, the idea that being a firefighter is, like, the city fucks you over. You know, like, like, like you're you, – you, like, the guy is, like – his dad is like is uh, has dementia, or his brother. Well, it just just rip off Trek One Eighty Two and say his brother got hurt really bad being a firefighter, and they didn't give him compensation. Right. So like 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 he's he's going to nine eleven like like half you know pre predisposed. He's to, primed. Yeah. He's like he's like this is my last day as a firefighter, and then they're like and then they they're like mismanaging nine eleven somehow in a civic sense. They're like go up oh, holding pattern, Roger that, oh, oh, and you, you kind of look at the bureaucratic side of it you're like disillusioned you're like it's a disaster and i know i know the big picture of this and but from his perspective it's like this is ridiculous like what is my job how do i know when i'm helping people or whatever and then he just like goes to this door like because he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna try and they're like and he gets yelled at he's like 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 his boss goes like henderson what are you doing he's like i'm trying to save people sir he's like i don't pay you to save people go in that room and, and cool off Go in that room until you know what's important. <laughs> and he goes in the room, and it's like a closed-down gap. Right. And he's like, and then he looks up, and it's like denim gold. Yeah. And the, and the floor, the fluorescent lights are flickering, and it's like, and it's just jeans everywhere. Yeah. And, and and it's like the camera kind of pushes on him as you hear like black red denim shit, and then. <laughs> 
and then it, it fades up, and it's like like his his like dementia addled father is like eat, being fed soup by his mom, and they're watching like all the coverage of the disaster like a week later, and his brother's like all burnt up in the corner, going like I when I, I good thing I didn't have to go to nine eleven. He's like yeah, but you get fucked up too, and they fucked you over, and then and then he's like. And they're like, how come you how come you, how come you survived 9-11? He's like, I told you, they made me go in a room. And, and, and they're like, well, whatever. And, and then he's like, okay, I'm going to go downstairs and think about stuff. And he goes down to his bedroom, and like he, his bed is surrounded by all these jeans. Right. And he's watching on the TV. He's watching these funerals, like the 21-gun salutes. And, the, and, and, then, and then he's like, he's just laying on his bed. And he's like, fuck. The fuck have I done? I'm a ghoul. I'm a horrible ghoul. And, and so then... Like, okay, so this is like seven minutes into the movie. The, the, the credits are still going underneath as, as he, like, dry, yeah, and then yeah. it's like, cuts to Montana. Dire- director of photography, and, and he, Peter Smoker. He Smoke goes, like, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Here's your pants. Like, I, I fucked up. I was there. I, I couldn't have done anything, but I did steal these pants, and it's fucked up. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, that's why, that's why, karmically, why this shit happens to us as a country is because of greed. So here's these pants back. And, and and I hope they fit you and, 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 and she's like, I'll be right back. I, I don't know if they will, but I'm <laughs> like they better, obviously. Yeah. And and then she you, and, you, and then she and Actually and, they should look like they, they really won't. They should look way too small for her. It's like, well right. thank you. Like I I'm, and she's like great. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go try to put these on and, and come just, out and bitch you out. Yeah. So she goes in the bedroom and then it's like this is just a clock ticking. Took as he looks at the photographs of the dead uh, 9/11 people, and, and, and the, the, the flag folded up. Yeah, the, yeah and there's a, the dogs like, and, and, then, and then she, and then, and then he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna maybe you add like a character that's always like, you should kill yourself, like, 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 like the ghost of uh, his brother who died in 9/11. So, he's, so that he always, there's always like a voice. His brother saying like, do it, do it, fucking kill yourself, you piece of shit. You should have fucking died. You should be dead. Yeah. And he's like, "Okay, I'm, you want me to do it? You want me to do it?" And he takes a corkscrew and he's like, "Got it under his, uh, under his, th- his neck." And and, and 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 then the woman says, "Yes, I do want you to do it." And and, and he and he slowly turns and she's like, "I do want you to keep giving out these pants because <laughs> because they because fit great." I was about to ask you, "Do I look fat in these jeans?" But I know what the answer is. The answer is no. Right. I look fantastic. In and these he's jeans. like, "Oh," and she's like, "You're doing a good thing here." I suggest keep doing it. And then it goes, take me home, country road. And it's like a line going around the country, and there's just pants. Like, it's a, you know, you got to speed this up at a certain yeah, point. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like stacks of pants going down, and like, like, like people accepting them, talking to him, like cowboys in a pasture of yeah. cows, and they like take the and there's pants. A, there's a seesaw, and one kid has, no, like, neither kid has jeans on, and they cuss to one kid, and all of a sudden he, that kid has jeans on, and they cuss to <laughs> and that kid has <laughs> <laughs> What? 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 You're doing camera tricks? Like, no. like, 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 like it cuts? No, the, no, like, like, like a Beatles video? Like the, like. I, I'm, try, try, I'm trying to make this fun. It's me. It's tasteless. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, what do you mean? Well, it's no. just like it's not. It's supposed to, you're making it seem like campy and like 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 fun. Like like. Okay, I, I'll take it more seriously then. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just keep, he keeps, uh, okay. Keeps giving pets. So I'm trying around. to. I'm trying to write your movie. Like okay. you, because so, okay, so, he, so, so it's he, page he, page so, so thirteen. Then, so then the, the truck. The, you look at the truck, and there's like you see the, the stack of jeans getting slowly smaller. The last pair of jeans that he gives to somebody, and that, that, that last person should be somebody who like somebody somebody. The, it's, a, it's the it's the fourteen year old black kid that becomes like his sidekick because the pants don't fit for some reason. <laughs> Because he lives in the Bronx, and the last stop is like he's like he's like, hey kid. But the real reason is because the kid will find out on page sixty he lied. He doesn't. He's not a family of a survivor. He just wanted pants. Okay. Okay. I, I know. I know. It's fu- but it's going to be a now, dementia. Now, but but now, his brother now, got Dan. shot by cops. Now like, Dan. Like, and he deserves the fucking pants because yeah. everyone has nine eleven going on all the time. Yeah. <laughs> It's it, it's only now after you say that that I feel bad about my camera tricks on the seesaw. I, now, yeah, I, yeah, like like we're trying to win an we're Oscar. We're making like, a movie. Doing like like like. Okay, everybody, hold still. Now put the pants on. Help. I was like, whoop! I need somebody <laughs> help. All right. Silly. It would look silly. It's okay. insane. So the kid the kid tries the last pair of jeans on. They don't fit, and the guy says, "What?" Our, our hero says. He says, "Like, huh? Maybe because it's the last pair." Uh, and then the kid's like, "Yeah, I don't know." 
but they're like kind of baggy, and he's like, well, maybe, maybe I like maybe these. Maybe those jeans were in the, in the in the fire truck already. Maybe those are maybe those, they're my those, pants. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, those I don't know. Maybe jeans, yeah. and, and well, the kid. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The kid's kind of a hasty, like. <laughs> Might have to cut the kid. Like I don't. I, I, <laughs> the kid stays in the picture, Dan. <laughs> but he so he's at home. It's page sixteen. He's eating pancakes. Dementia dad died while he was gone. The burnt brother is like, like, still burnt and like, <laughs> still like, why are you here? How did you survive nine eleven? It's so fucked up. And uh, and then. I'm just going with your... So there's a knock on the door. It's an old Chinese man. Okay. says, like, those pants were under 9-11 for a reason. They're cursed. They caused 9-11. This is your idea now. No, oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, I, 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 they're cursed was your idea. Right, I'm saying that there's a reason, like, like you find out that he puts these pants on people, but that... Uh, that comes out of like that, that's just too good to be true. There's a reason why they fit everybody. So, yeah, I hope so you know now that. he has to go get them all back. No, <laughs> I think all those people like like they like, he's created an army of people with magic jeans on <laughs> that they're worse than 9/11. <laughs> so what happens? I, you're the writer. <laughs> But I, I, was, I, I wrote I, a whole movie about the guy, like, I, I thought, and you were like, yeah. I thought then, your momentum would carry you through this. Oh, man. No? They become zombies? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But like, yeah, I, I, it just seems like it's just a like random. This is like mumblecore. <laughs> is that what they call it? Mumblecore? Yeah. yeah. It's like one of those dupless, dupless brothers. I'm disappointed, Dan. I thought you would have uh, been able to finish this off. What did, I, I, the, cha- the guy said, uh, he comes and says, those are pants. Okay, okay. Like we're crossing the first threshold. Those pants. Those pants are cursed. So then he goes like, "Okay, I should go get them back." And the Chinese guy goes, "No, you can't, because well, that would be back and forthy." So, <laughs> so now all those people are gonna they're gonna start fires. Are they gonna be Al Qaeda? Are let's they gonna? Say, okay, how about this? Let, let, let's say okay. Forget the curse thing. Forget, let's say that's is it, is it... What, what weddings start hitting people's houses? Yeah. What does? Well, planes are, yeah. Well, what if the gene wearing people, like, are, are they're driven now to return to the concourse? And if they all do, something horrible happens. <laughs> it's really more of a thinker, though. What about. Okay, Dan, 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 forget about the Chinese guy at the door. Like, what's the end of your movie? The guy gives the pants back, and what happens? That, that's, he well, gives... the whole movie is, yeah, he gives. Well, like, in my movie. That's the end of the movie? He gives the pants back? The end? In my Everybody movie, the threshold is he sets out on the road to go give the pants back. So it's a whole quadrant of the circle is 9-11, which is what people want out of this, <laughs> from the poster. They're, like, buying tickets to see this. So Because the, the, then because the, the towers of, are both legs of pants. Then Spe- the road I of fa- trials. Uh, sorry. Uh, Tom Kaufman from Rick and Morty, he sent me a picture of the thing, and I have I have the log line and the, the title. It's really close. Um he put the, the the tagline is "Heroes come in all sizes." Heroes come in all sizes, <laughs> which is also Willow. Yeah, <laughs> I stole it from Willow, but. <laughs> and then uh, it's it's Redemption uh, colon pants on fire. <laughs> because he's a liar. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, the, the pants don't have to be cursed. That's just good enough alone. So, so the, the, it it's, a, it's, a, it's not a movie. It's not, it's not like a, an event film. It's like a, a tearjerker and an Oscar winner. Like he, he goes on a journey of self-discovery. Like he figures out who he is. Why did he take those pants? What the fuck is wrong with him? So what does he find out at the end? Like, what, what does he learn? Yeah, from the whole journey? system's fucked, and, you know, like fucking rich people should die. <laughs> but uh, anybody that makes more than me, like... Like like billionaires, they should they should have all their money redistributed. That's what he finds out. <laughs> but then there's nothing about it. That's the end of the film. Well, he just that's a lot to take in. <laughs> He's a, it, it, probably need a voiceover. <laughs> but you got you got all these magic. You, you no, know, he gives out all the pants. He, he you don't deal a, with the magic pants. Why are they no, magical? They're not Why do magic. They fit, they no fit, says, they fit they you whether fit they because the the but traveling pants of the sisterhood. They, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like they didn't stop the movie and go, "Holy fuck, the devil is real!" Like they. 
it was a, it was just the idea that these, these girls like were bonded in a way. Like every time they put on the pants, I assume that but they, he's, they he's fit. Gi- he's giving these pants away to strangers that aren't characters in the movie. He's just giving is a montage. Of and they all giving... fit because he okay. So they all fit when his when his like apology is real. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I got it. So the goddess is like a uh, hot woman. And her husband died in 9-11, and he chokes up on the bat. Like, he changes a couple things, and the pants don't fit. Because Why? he hasn't come clean. He's like, it's like uh, uh, Quantum Leap rules. <laughs> he's got he's to come 100% clean with the people he gives the pants to, or they don't fit. And she's, like, hot. So he's, like, tempted. He doesn't want to be a piece of shit, and, like, because he wants to date her. So he, he kind of... He changes a couple details about his pants looting and and his stake in nine eleven and stuff. Right. And she's like, "Oh, you're, so you're kind of a hero." And he's like, "Yeah." And then she's like, "Okay, well, let's go on that date, and I'm I'm gonna wear my new pants to the date." And he's like, "Cool." And he's like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna get so laid." And <laughs> it's good. And, and then she's like, "Ah, they don't fit." And and that that's like. And and then and and he's like, "Well, here's another pair." And she's like, "These don't fit either. What the fuck's going on?" I don't know why she'd be. <laughs> so it's like it's like Groundhog Day. He has to learn how to be honest. Like he has to get it right and find yeah. out how to make the pants fit yeah, on this hot chick. That's what we're getting. Yeah. I think they all become zombies. <laughs> all right. Well, let's develop it later. We should only spend like a maximum of twenty minutes developing the nine eleven. Uh, I don't care if it takes all fucking night. We're gonna fucking hash this out. Yeah. You know, you let it go. You got to step back and then you you work on other projects, right? Right. <laughs> Let's bring Demorge out in preparation. Demorge Brown. Yo, yo. Demorge. Yo, yo. 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 Yo, the, the I'm the brown, I'm the devil, I'm the beast. <laughs> and I am here. Hey, I heard Car Jumper got canceled at Channel 101. Ah, uh, that was the thing that happened, yes. I was at my rap party <laughs> for Community. Was that the longest running uh, show of all time? It is, absolutely. How yeah. many episodes? 20 what? 25. 25. 25. Is that 25? How many were you in, DeMarge? Uh, zero. Zero? Yeah. I thought you were in every Channel 101 show. Oh, come on, man. No. Aren't, aren't you in every show? No. Only a portion, a small portion. You're like the Steve Buscemi. It's, it's power by impact, man. Deliver, deliver when you hit. That's it. Only a few. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Powered by impact. Uh, hit everyone that you do, but, uh, but, you know, you can't do everything. These are all just yeah. Honda slogans. He's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he gets $7,000 a month to... <laughs> <laughs> Sneak these phrases. I'm in. a Honda machine. <laughs> dream, dream to the, dream to the end. <laughs> Power by choice. I feel like because this, this, this Break, show, accelerate. This, this show's theme so far has been kind of a contemplative, kind of uh, like introspective kind of show. I feel like we should commit to some shadow run in a way that, like we really get down to like getting some shit done. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys down for that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dan, Dan, would you would you pass out the uh, the character sheet folders? Pass but, those down the line. But we need a mercy, right? Or, or are you saying even like? No, uh, you, uh, I think we should. Yeah. Right. What, what do you think? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, we should. Pro- yeah, I, we should. I, I think we need our face man for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have somebody out there who th- feels uh, especially capable of being mercy O'Donnell? Who, who said woo? There's a woo there. Do you want to come up? You wooed. Get up here, woo, woo girl. Hello. You can take the mic from. Oh, there She's you go. gonna make it on her own. I feel like I should... She has no beret Hi. to throw into Sorry. the air at that last. All minute. right, Woo Girl, what's your what's your name? I'm Julia. Hi. Julia. There's I'm here your by folder. myself. That's why zero people clapped when I went woo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't <Sorry>. have to. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that was really awkward. I'm like, hi. That's right. I, I don't think if, when, in a show when people applaud for someone, your first thought is, ah, the fix is in. <laughs> <laughs> they must have brought 50 people. Uh, Julia, was it? Yes. Julia, where are you from? Uh, originally Northeast Ohio. Northeast, mm. so that would be Toledo? Youngstown, right? 
Uh, Cleveland-ish. Cleveland-ish. I grew up with Amish, so like Cleveland and more east. There's a reason why I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you grew up with Amish? Yeah. They have those in Ohio? That's mm-hmm. a, I thought that was a Pennsylvania thing. And a lot in Ohio. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> How did they get there? They walked, I guess. Eh? <laughs> they... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, th- sorry. Uh, there, you, you don't have to answer. It was a, it's a dumb <laughs> no, I question. I apologize, and sorry to my mom if she ever does see this, but I'm She's a little high right now. Is your mom Amish? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Full you're, you're disclosure. A, you're, you're a little high? Exactly. I might be. You might be a little high. I might be. Marijuana? Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, that endears Wait. you to them. They're, 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 they're like, okay, good. <laughs> I, I'm almost regretting even saying woo and going, why didn't somebody <laughs> else go woo, please? <laughs> Aaron, why aren't you here now? Because uh, the dog's scooping hairs. <laughs> uh, do you want to switch places with Aaron right now? She's she's yanking okay, maybe not. <laughs> a dog string out of a dog anus. Almost forgot. <laughs> um, all right. Well, you're quite a character. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Julie Haggerty meets Mary Tyler Moore. And I, uh, meets Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you, what, uh, how, are you living in L.A.? I am. And how long have you been living here? A little over a year. And what's your ambition? I kind of accidentally fell into working in the thing I did the most, which is podcasting. And it, yeah, one Uh, guy, really? (laughs) That guy. But I worked for an amazing comedian, uh, Aaron Foley, and Mm. if any of you know her. Aaron Foley's amazing. Yeah, she's She's really funny, and... I'm really fortunate to work with some really funny people, and you so know. you work on Aaron Foley's podcast. It, it, well, no, I help. I help make it happen. Like, I do this stuff, the minutia. Like, 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 like the you're the, you're the producer of, of or a producer of her the uh, helper podcast. of things. You book guests and stuff. Sometimes, if she needs it, I, you know, I'm at Are her disposal. Are you an assassin? Uh, I'm a podcast assassin, <laughs> but I also do weird voice work and things. So. Yeah, so I'm like, why not try podcasting? Yeah. <laughs> why not woo? <laughs> Nobody else wooed. Please, somebody else should have wooed. <laughs> I'm going to go that. back, build a time machine, and then uh, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm not <coughs> nervous. No, You're no, nervous. No, no, nobody, nobody feels sorry for me. But nobody. It's like, I, 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 I'm not, like, she feels like you. a sitcom character that's just joined our cast. <laughs> I, I think, what I'm I think like, I'm wearing a skirt. I'm trying not to sit awkwardly where I'm like, I kind of have to side saddle where I'm like, hey. I'm an Ottoman now. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> this is still weird. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> it's going to be the best shadow run of all time. So, so Julia, Julia yes. are, you, are you familiar with, our, uh, with Mercy O'Donnell's Mercy character? Mercy the face? Yeah. Yes. And so and you, are, you're looking down uh, at her character sheet. You're, you're well, familiar I'm, with, I'm her, with her attributes? <laughs> <laughs> oh gonna, my god, I want to do I wanna, my best. I can't wait to be as high as you are after the show. <laughs> See me after the show. Whoa. Oh, damn. Wink. What about Audio me? <laughs> <laughs> You're there too. That was pretty Spencer, Spencer, are you higher than her or is she higher than you? No, man. I'm I'm not. No. <laughs> I have my answer. My nervousness manifests itself differently. That's all. It's true. <laughs> See, <laughs> the, la- the, la- the laugh is like a, uh, like a the Warner Brothers sound effect library woman laughing <laughs> from the '60s. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's, it's, no, don't. It's it is fi- it's absolutely fine. She's Mary Ooh. Tyler Moore. Uh, a, a little Goldie Hawn, a little Mary Tyler Moore. If you listen back on a few live podcasts of various kinds you can apparently pick me out and oh, i apologize oh we have we have we got one of those guys right here oh i know i finally saw him and i'm like oh, that's him that's, the, he's that's, the that's, laugh. that's laughing guy it's the laugh. oh, he was he was outside the, the, wait, who, who's, you, you're the laughing guy yeah. i i never re- put a face to you because i was away for all the uh the controversy oh you weren't laugh. here for that I, uh, I was gone for most of that it's laughing guy what's your name again laughing guy? doug doug <laughs> Laugh, <laughs> what's God. what's your <laughs> podcast, Doug? Just in case you didn't know. Oh, and re- yeah. You and me and thoughts and talk. You and me and thoughts and talk with Dub Culp. How do you get through it? Like, isn't it just you? Like, the, yeah, you know, it is. He he does laugh on it. Um. <laughs> oh, can I say one more thing, really quick? I was actually listening to Superego on the way over here, and I had no idea you were 
the Sam Elliott. That's one of one of my favorite bits with Shunt McGuffin. Oh yeah. I had no idea, and then I heard Dan Harmon. I was like, oh wait, the Muppet one. That's a sorry. Jeff does a good Sam Elliott. I apologize. Yeah. I'm not gonna have that much next time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Please. All right, Julia. Look, here's the, here's the, the status. Uh, <laughs> you're high. You're Ready? here. Yes. You're about to play Shatter. I'm gonna this. try. My my advice to you is to let it wash over you and to dig yeah. deep. And uh, as we play Shatter Run, uh, Spencer, do we have a guest uh, bu- uh, intro? Yeah, I think it's by Let's Be Sapid again. All right. I just uh, a lot of people have been sending not a lot people have been sending me in. Oh. A lot of the ones I haven't read were too long. If anyone's curious, wants to revise their work, what, what's, no offense. What, what's a good range for length? I don't know. It's just, I mean, if you write it, read it out loud and see how long it takes. Yeah, I would say 45 seconds is probably a good thing, right? Yeah. I mean, We run a tight ship over here. We really do. <laughs> <laughs> if our show has proven anything. <laughs> Get your shit together. Well, I kind of do, right? I gotta keep a tight ship. You do? No, it's a, well. You you should. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I do. You, you you're allowed to. <laughs> Thank you. So Spencer, I, I, you're saying to to, to those would be uh, intro Shadowrun people uh, writers, keep it around under a minute. Yeah. No. No offense. It's good stuff. It's all good stuff. <laughs> That's to our video listeners. <laughs> all right, Spencer, uh, take it away. All right. Last time on Harmon Town Shadow Town. After completing their first mission, the gang kicked back for some much needed R&R. Lounging around the pool table at their usual watering hole, Hank's last stand, they indulged in their favorite vices. Their moment of peace was shattered when an old, extremely Italian man named Ryan Dervish barged in screaming, jittery, and jumping. After calming down, he explained that the notorious Spaguli crime family has kidnapped his son, Jelly, won over by his offer of 2,000 New Yen apiece and a pair of fancy Italian shoes. Our heroes accepted the mission to retrieve Jelly Dervish. The old man intimated that Arturo Spaguli, a big stupid dick, might know something about the kidnapping. The gang resolved to confront Arturo at his favorite eatery, the Burger Tyrant. But will they find stupid Arturo, the big dick? Will they use their well-honed skills and famous teamwork to extract information? Will they retrieve Jelly Dervish with their usual discretion and grace? Find out on Harmon Town Shadow Time. Thank you. Okay, so we're on our we're on our way to a restaurant to to uh, to. to uh, we're, we're, we're going to the Burger Tyrant. Yeah, you're headed towards the boo uh, the Burger Tyrant, <laughs> the Boober Tyrant. What what kind of vehicle are we in right now? You're in an Uber. We're in an Uber. <laughs> what what's our a uh, hey, driver? What's your name? It's a robot. Robot, what's your... Do, is the robot programmed to sexually harass women? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or does that slowly drop away as the f- <laughs> Uber enters the future? And is, is, the robot, is, is the robot programmed to, after you get out of the car, to keep the meter running and, and pretend that, you, that, that the ride is canceled but charge you for a ride that you didn't do and oh, keep running? Oh, shit. <laughs> Gauntlet yeah. down. All of those And yet we things. never use Lyft. We just... I, I use Lyft, <laughs> Lyft all the fucking great. time. Lyft is great. Uber yeah. can Driving suck, you happy. Suck a dick. That's what they say. Hey, uh, hey, uh, robot, uh, how far are we from uh, Burger Tyrant? Oh, we're pretty close. You guys should uh, have just enough time to formulate a plan. <laughs> Nightblade, what you got? Uh, not the planning type as such, but... Uh, <laughs> I just want to get straight in my head. Uh, this guy uh, is the one who might know where Jelly is. Arturo Spaguli. Uh, He's a big dick. All right. Uh, so we should probably lure him out, uh, f- figure out a way to get him by himself. Uh, I got a feeling he'll be probably surrounded by a lot of, a lot of guys. Hey, um, H- Hordegard, can you find out what kind of car uh, Arturo Spigoli drives? If is, he drives it, is, is it possible that I could uh, possibly uh, recontact uh, my friend Rich Bilson? Uh, yeah. Ritz? Ritz? Hey. hey. How hey, are you? it's Ritz. Yes. Don't uh, be aggressive with me. Oh. <laughs> this is just my voice. Okay. Um, there is a, we obviously, we're looking for this, uh, this asshole, this sort of dick the person. Yeah. Um, is there it possible that we could lead, uh, lure him? Is there something that would bring him out? 
perhaps uh, uh, since he's been drinking a glass of water, or uh, is there some other sort of uh, totem that we might bring him outside with to get him outside of his protection? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't really know the guy personally. I just uh, I put some I put some you know some of my ears out and found out that's where he is. You might you might have better luck asking around elsewhere. Well, is it? Uh, oh, you still talking to this guy? Is it possible that I could use another identity and perhaps go in and lure him out myself? It's certainly possible. Is it also possible that we could use our uh, our, uh, our our fabulous face? The one to the right of me, although mm-hmm. you're not looking at me right now, but the one to the right of me. I say we, we, we I, use... We send uh, in the fabulous face. I say we use uh, Mercy O'Donnell <laughs> as much as possible on this mission. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is Mercy's time to shine. Yeah. yeah I knew not, I was going to make it. Mercy, uh, 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 really, uh, driver, really. are we here at the Burger Tyrants? <laughs> uh, we're just pulling up to three blocks away. Rich Bilson. <laughs> Ritz Bilson, uh, there are a few times that I will say this. I apologize for uh, uh, abusing your time. I will make this up to you later. We have a plan. Uh, we've come up with it on our own. Uh, good day, sir. Thanks, let's, man. Let's do, a, let's do a blue beauty with a honey pot on the front end. <laughs> do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> it seems to be the configuration. Okay. Most conducive to the situation. All right. I'll, be, I'll be the honey pot. <laughs> no, wait. Oh. Uh, I, if I could, uh, perhaps the honey pot could be somebody else. <laughs> Is well, that do, possible? Do we, do we know his sexual proclivities? Do we know, you know, what You have a favor? face that is irresistible regardless of sexual proclivities. <laughs> it, it deals in the currency. I, I can't tell you how many hey, hey, times guys, guys, I, look, I, I, The I, currency I, of raw I, attraction. I, I huddle everybody up. I said, look, I, I think that we'd be fooling ourselves if we didn't think the best plan is to send Mercy O'Donnell just right in the front door. <laughs> As the as the honey pot, yeah, and then it's, okay. your job's to get him get him over to uh, uh, our there. prearranged location, uh, which is which is uh, we're ju- gonna, just out back of the Burger Tyrant. Right? Uh, okay, so we're at the front of the Burger Tyrant. You're uh, three we're blocks away. We're three blocks away still. Uh, could uh, the Uber driver perhaps pull up to the back of the? Well, the if Burger we get tyrant? too close, they're gonna they're gonna send something's up. Okay, should, should, let's so, stop. Let's I mean, stop. I can a, walk should we stop blocks. a block away, Nightblade, and uh, let Mercy O'Donnell walk in the front? Kind of get my Beyonce stride on. I think. You know. you, I think you go in. We right. do. We do one of these. Yeah. You go in, and then uh, like uh, we stage a. Uh, she has a falling out with her uh, her boy, <laughs> and then wait. I'm trying to figure out how. To, like, why don't you be the boy? She'll uh, and then she's gonna get him out to the car. If it, the simple version is, she just gets him out to the car, and then we're all in the car. The more complex version is to get him even further away. Why can't like, I just try and convince him to come with me into the car? I think we just let her do her thing. Okay, all right. <laughs> Perhaps we let this happen. Yeah, and let her get him outside okay. of the building, and all then right. we work okay. from there. Well, we're all we're all listening. We'll all be in the car. You just get him out to the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Theoretically we, speaking, Nightblade is on focus at this time, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another hour of unfocused. <laughs> All right. So, are, are we a block away yet, Spencer? Yep. All right, Mercy. Yes. I trust you implicitly. You really should. <laughs> I got this. Go knock him dead. I have exceptional charisma, yes. and uh, negotiation top notch. Is so it po- is it possible I could be both a physical and emotional spotter? Uh, I think yeah. maybe, maybe not, not hovering in the background, but perhaps just staying close by in partner. case things go <laughs> awry. Yeah, it, it could go off the rails. It may very easily. well. <laughs> so, what's the move, gentlemen and lady? It's it's mercy time. The move is mercy. Time. <laughs> it's fucking okay. mercy time. All right, mercy, go in there and work your charms. Okay, so get get what, what go, else is so go meet our churros walk okay. and into the try room. to find so, out and, and get him out to the car with us. Okay, so right now it's just me and... Walking in all When a problem comes along, along you must whip it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I get to the Burger Tyrant, walk in. What's, what's the surrounding? All right, so uh, the Burger Tyrant is classic garbage food of the sixth world. 3D printers squirting out grease and krill protein into recognizable shapes, injected with flavor simulates and microwave it for perfection. 
to perfection. Burger Tyrant is the pinnacle of the technology serving millions of day. This location looks pretty new, so it must have been rebuilt to the Tyrant's new security slash hygiene specifications. Standing tall in front of the front door is a hologram icon of the Burger Tyrant himself. His arms are open wide and he proclaims, All are welcome. Get your burgers done right. But please, oh please, don't go and fight. Leave your weapons at home. Leave your weapons at home. Leave your weapons at home. This guy's a real burger tyrant. He's really into that. All right. I uh, like it. Just to be safe, I astrally project uh, alongside uh, Mercy like uh, to go alongside her into the uh, burger tyrant. Okay. You're, you're a ghost. Could okay. Be, could be dangerous. <laughs> you go first. Try not to ghost block. <laughs> So you step into the you step into the burger tyrant. It's it's a filthy joint. It looks like it must be one of those uh, franchise locations rather than a corp run place. Specifically because the security detail is woefully substandard. There's usually about five armed guards on duty at your average burger tyrant. <laughs> Here you only see one. He's wearing a bulletproof vest and he's picking his nose. The second you walk into the door, however, you hear a piercing, shrill alarm shriek. Lights start flashing and going off right as you right as you uh, enter the door. And three fry cooks and uh, the security guard all pull guns and level pistols right at you. They say, "No weapons. Get out of here, or we're shooting you to death." Hey, hey, calm down. No weapons. It's, hey, hold on. It's law. Hold on, just a second there. Let's just. Let's just step it back, man. No weapons. Hold on. What if, can I, uh, like, coat check these? Is there some way I can just drop these off, pick them up on my way out? Yeah, go outside, do that, then come back, and we'll give you burgers. Hey, hey, that sounds amazing. Thank you right for complying. Hey, no worries, no worries, not a problem. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> I am just outside the door and ready to collect such weapons. Excellent. I've Good. taken them all. <laughs> so I have no... <laughs> so I have zero weapons. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, feel like, I feel like Mercy right now. Just very scared. <laughs> but I'm going to power through. So I'm going back in there. All right. You do that. You see the, the, the fry cooks. They're not pointing guns at you anymore. They're just milling about the auto fooders. There's a couple fo folks just sitting with their meals. You see Arturo Spaguli seated in the corner. He's wearing a fine Italian suit and he's eating he's eating two burgers in two hands. Whoa, he's double fisting the meat. He's double fisting both meats. <laughs> Given the circumstances, can I use my combat sense instantly just to find out if there is any threat? Oh, there's threat. Like, was the meat undercooked? <laughs> the meat is always cooked in this place. Hot meat, always. Yes, threats. Okay, end of the com link. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does that a lot. He's like, he's like, how many of these people are my friends? It's like, well, no, they're trying to kill you. <laughs> I'm just Says the man sitting in the van. That's I'm checking my email. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really a you know a resume for my uh, proclivities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the move? Hey, real quick, um, do I actually have? I mean, I said that I gave all my weapons. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, are you, what are you from Atlanta? <laughs> friends used to get really high and then he would start just he would go from what's up guys to like hi yo, they can't see who you're talking to right now <laughs> you have to talk to the man oh i apologize apparently i, I lose control of my vocals you're fine uh, i'm sorry you guys okay so i'm trying to get back on task back on the train sorry uh, spencer i actually have a real question yeah about your weapons or yeah so knife do i actually have like any hidden anything that i can get through is i mean is there a chance i could sneak something through just in case you don't think so uh you know in today's day and age weapon and metal detectors are right. highly highly elaborate you'd have to have okay. a weapon designed specifically to bypass that security all right i was just double it. checking 
Just double check. I go on the comm link and say, Mercy, uh, ask him to, to to go outside with you. If that, if that's not going to work, we're going to come storm in the place and kick ass. Yeah, it's not really that kind of mission, you know. No, I, I'm just going to convince him. Not to objectify you or anything, but, you know. <laughs> Like, uh, I just gotta try and somehow convince him to come out. Just ask car. him and see what just happens. Just make the approach, but yeah. put on your finest face. <laughs> I tried that hours ago. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, um. So. Oh, Jim. <laughs> oh, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Demarge. Oh my God. Okay. You're so fine. I'm I'm going in there, I, and who's with me again? No one. Well, uh, just me you're all alone. You're well, there's a on. ghost. Oh, okay. Mercy, I, I'm on okay. the comm link. I'm talking to you. Here. This is Eve Libertine talking. You're a ghost right now. I, 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 I'm talking to you. Can, you can, I, can I talk to her on comm link uh, in my astral form? No, you could talk to her as a ghost. Oh. Uh, so he like. Ghost talking. I, I'm in the room with you. I, I'm, I'm actually in the room with you. Okay. I got you. If you want me to manifest and kick ass, <laughs> I can. Walk up to him and tell him what you want. Just try to get him outside alone. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Walk up to Arturo Spaguli and say, Could, would you come outside with us? Arturo. Me. You walk up to him, and he's got a mouth full of burger. He's, he's barely paying you any mind. He barely glances at you. On the comm link, I suggest that you know how to do this the right way. The right <laughs> way? <laughs> <laughs> Innuendo. Okay, um... Arturo, yeah. how are you? I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like uh, I like some meats. Not so much ham, but I like meat. Um, oh. Okay, so uh, <laughs> no, I, I haven't stopped thinking about ham from earlier. George, I'm so sorry. I'm like embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay in the pocket, kid. Okay, okay. The I musicians have a phrase. It's called staying in the pocket. Okay, okay I, I apologize. Stay focused. Stay focused, Mercy. Focus, focus. Get, get him outside, Mercy. All right, good, so I'm I know get you're him outside, hungry, Mercy. but you know what? I I did something. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you, but we have an amazing buffet <laughs> and this whole party that we planned for you. I just didn't think that maybe... Talk about what we'll do with the meats. <laughs> Horde guy, do not help. Wait, wait, you want me to expound get, on Get him outside, <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> we planned a giant surprise party for you, basically, for this award we heard you were getting. And, <laughs> and so, I mean, <laughs> I can't think of anything else. More of that. <laughs> More amazing. Ask him than to that. go outside. And I think that just say hey. The limo hey. that we have. Mercy, say hey. <laughs> go outside with me. I'll Arturo. suck your dick. Get fucking go outside. <laughs> Anything. When a girl, when a young girl who is a just, ghost tells just, you to suck a dick, just <laughs> ask him ghost. to go <laughs> outside. Say you have a joint and you're gonna fucking get high again. Hey, Arturo, I got some, like, uh, choice kush. Let's blaze, yo. <laughs> oh, man. Who wouldn't want to get high and play Skyrim with me? <laughs> or you can sit next to me and watch me make this amazing waterfall out of lava. Um, oh, I, I was thinking about Minecraft, because I, oh, oh. I play Minecraft I'm outside, and I want I to be inside like so Thomas that I can go thing. outside the game. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to socialize more. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shit in the cup. <laughs> uh, that sounds mighty fine. <laughs> Cliffhanger! What? Oh, all right. Oh. Results? That's a, cl that's a cliffhanger. You. All right. right Let's thank Julie, everybody, shall we? Good Julia. Job, Julie. Holy shit. <laughs> Julia, if I can make one request, you come back next week and be twice as high. <laughs> and reprise your role as Mercy O'Donnell. Uh, Aaron, Aaron won't be here. I don't know that, but either way, you fucking, you're on stage and you're high. Demorge Brown, everybody. Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Let's thank uh, also Annie for coming up earlier on. Annie.
Ginny also, thank you very much. Your mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon, everybody. <laughs> nothing got Jason. done. We walked into a burger place and nothing really happened. We got into an Uber and then somebody went into the burger place. They went into the burger place. Did you get any of that? It's a good show. Oh.